traders, Anthony here. In this video, we're going to have a look at the CAD yen. As always, the information in the video is educational in nature, not to be construed as financial counsel. I hope you enjoy the video and uh, love to uh, hear your comments. So definitely leave a comment below if you feel so inclined. So with that, let's uh, get into the video. So I'm looking at the CAD yen. So if we look left and we pick up this level here, the, the base of this daily candle, that would be a target point. It's traded down into it and rejected. The next target, if we maintain a bearish perspective, is going to be the low of this red candle, this accumulation range back further here, as you can see. And look, if it continues down, it'll be the, uh, the low of these candles here. So we've got three specific targets that we could consider under the current price. Okay, so let's go down to a 4H and look for an entry. So I'd be a little bit careful. This has been trending in, uh, well, through the Asian session. We have this green candle up here. Uh, we'll just name it, say, a uh, resistance. We're looking at the trend, basically, you know, trending down and retracing. And we see another expansion, another retrace, expansion. So I'm looking for a pullback into... If we pick up the Fibonacci high to low here, I really do want to see a move back into this uh, into this zone, 50 to the 61.8. That would be my entry zone. So let's just call it a range. That that would be my sell zone up in around here. You know, it's kind of traded back, and at the moment, I think we're trading into the London Open. Uh, but I really do want to see this pull back before I get involved. So a couple of things we could place a pending sell, a limit sell, something like that. That might be a little bit tight. Let's just pull the stop loss up, say you uh, are into this green one, um, candle up in here and we'll go for, uh, well that's 2.5 there, 2.47, so you know about a 2. Let's go for a 2R by default and uh, see what we get out of it. So that would be my call with the CAD yen at the moment. Let's just go down to a 15 minute, have a look at that. Yeah, I don't mind that. Now we're going to mark up the London Open. Kicks off at right now actually, 3 a.m. New York time. All right, so it's trading down into the London Open. So the thing with this, if I see this trending through the Asian session, I'm going to sit back and most likely wait for an opportunity into the, the New York Open. If this trends sideways through the Asian session, I'll most likely get involved at the London Open. I hope that makes sense. What I'm thinking could happen, I mean, look, this could trade south and leave us behind. And if, if it happens to do that, then let it go. But really what I want to see is this pullback now down into the London Open through the Asian, ses uh, Asian session. It was, it was trending. We had this pullback here. Now it's trading down into the London Open. And I'm actually wondering whether this is going to do something like this. The New York Open would be around about 8 a.m. Let's just mark that up. Keep an eye on these times, guys. So the New York Session Open, that occurs at 8 a.m. New York time. So I'm looking for price action to, to kind of play out like that. hope that makes sense. Okay, again, I'm reluctant to get involved here. I want to see it pull back, trade into this level here. But, uh, you know, you want to wait for the trend. Okay, so we've got this actually at the moment trending up until it breaks structure. And uh, this could be a break here. We're not sure yet, right? But it could be just a little dip down before it moves further back. You know, it could do anything. But again, I mean, I don't want to get involved until this trades back up into resistance, and it might even be a little higher, but wherever this plays out, it ranges sideways and then it rotates something like that. And that's where I want to get involved. It'll be the break of market structure to the downside. All right, once this starts shifting gears on the pullback, I hope that makes sense. And that could be quite a nice trade for today if, if this price action plays out. So keep an eye on this into the New York Open, guys. See how it uh, see how it shapes up. Now, again, if it continues south here without us and leaves us behind, then I'm happy to let it go for now. All right, but I want to see this play out. Now, if you haven't already, I'd love to uh, hear your comments. Definitely leave a comment below. 
And uh, with that, I hope you have a great day. Safe trading as always, and we'll see you in the next one.